Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for today's video where I show you how to add um, and play with one of the newish features here on Wix, which is their gradient background options. If you have not yet already, please go ahead and make sure that you click the subscribe button and also the bell so that you get notified when a new video drops on the channel. So. As you can see here, um, I happen to be designing a client site and I thought, what the heck, why not cover this? Because I know that um, I had gotten asked about this feature previously and how we were working with it. So why not show you all here today? It's really awesome because if you've already been working with the gradient buttons on the Wix website, which in my opinion, um, <clears throat> When you use a button with a gradient, it kind of just helps make it stand out a little bit more on the page. And we were working with our uh, client's website here. And as you can see, there is um there is a difference when you start pulling in some of the gradient backgrounds. It makes the site just look a little bit, in some cases, just look a little bit better than just having a plain solid color background. So I have pulled up my play site here. So I kind of want to just show you how to do this. So again, you can add the background color to any strip background. If you are playing in here in the elements underneath of the strip section, you'll see that there are many different strips. One of my favorite ways to have a strip here is just to take a classic strip, whether that is a solid background or a photo. And then oftentimes when I'm working with some of these elements on a site, one of the easiest ways to get contrast on your site is to just take a solid strip background and then split it evenly in half between a background photo and then a background color on this page with some text. Now in this case, um, what I did and I can, um, I don't want to go all the way back, but there, I had a solid color on this background previously. So I'll show you what that looks like. If it's just a solid color, it would look something like this. Now, let's say that I want to go in and add. You can see now there's two options here and it says gradient <clears throat> and fluid gradient. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and go over what that would look like. So for example, when you come in here, you'll see that there's two different types of gradients on this option anyways, this is linear. Okay, so linear means the color is going to be descending or ascending, however, whatever color scheme you set, and it's going from left to right. Or in this case, it's going from up and down. So the however it's going, it's just going in a straight line. That's what they mean by a linear gradient. The other option is a radial gradient, meaning the colors are either coming in or they are coming out, and but they are doing that in the form of a circle. So it's radiating out from a certain center point on what you have. Now, when you look at this website, you'll see that I was using a radial gradient for this particular background section because I wanted, um, I have a dark background as you can see, and I wanted to highlight where the text was coming to. So this right here is a, an example of a radial gradient and it would be the opposite of this. In order to get a look like this, you are going to input the lighter um, the lighter color at the left hand side. So for example, it would look something like gray um, or this color gray or even this color gray. <laughs> and then on the outer skirts is where you would put the other color. So in order to change the colors here that are going on in your gradient, you will just click on the dot and then click on this option here. And so if I want to change this one, I'll click on that and add in the blue. So now, as you can see, this is giving me um, my gradient right here. Yeah. So that's how you get to that gradient. So it's making it look, you know, it's focalizing your viewpoint to the center and it's kind of creating almost a shadow box around the text. Now, the other gradient option that we have to work with in here is called a fluid gradient. And as you can see, there are multiple different dots all around the background, and these are the different um, points for the different colors. So this is really what sets apart a fluid gradient background is you have the ability to change this and it's not going 
you know, from this way to this way or radiating from in to out. Like it's, it's not like that. That's why they call it a fluid gradient because there's multiple different points and it's very fluid. So whenever you want to adjust your colors, you can click on the dot and then you'll go ahead and click on the color. You can change the saturation of it by going from, by adjusting this right here. Now let's say that you have stumbled on the absolute perfect looking gradient background. You're going to want to, if you want, and you want to use that same one over and over again, you will just go down here to the My Color Gradient section and go ahead and click on Add, and it will automatically save that as a new gradient background. That means that if you scroll down further in the site or you wanted to change the color of another background and keep it consistent with the one that you just used, you could then go underneath of your gradients and you'll see that underneath of the My Color Gradients, it's giving you that option again. So that's just another really great way to be able to duplicate your work and keep your site consistent. I hope that you enjoyed this and I'm curious to see if you have worked with gradients yet on your own website or if you have any questions. If you do, please go ahead and drop it down below. We absolutely love hearing from you. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please go ahead, give the video a thumbs up and remember to click on subscribe and the bell so that you get notified when a new video drops whether we are helping you, you know, customize your website or whether we are going over one of the new features that Wix has to offer. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.